Hello, I'm Carolyn Clifford, and here are your 7 Action News headlines. Shelby Township Police released new video to clarify what happened during a weekend protest. About 100 protesters with Detroit Will Breathe gathered in the streets to call for the chief to be fired over social media posts supporting police brutality as police made arrests. The group claimed officers strip searched one woman in the street, but video from police shows the woman in the back of a patrol car slipping her hand out of her flex cuffs and taking off her own clothes. Two men were driving on Detroit's west side on Whitcomb near Eaton when another car pulled up and opened fire hitting the 33-year-old driver. That driver then hit the utility pole. He is in critical condition. His 61-year-old passenger was not shot but sustained injuries in that crash. The motive for the shooting is unknown. An update on issues with lead in the water of some homes in Ferndale. A virtual crowd joined the city council Zoom meeting for more information. As we reported last week, over 10% of the samples from testing on 30 homes with known lead service lines came back with levels above state standards. Experts advise running the taps to flush sitting water. Filters will be given out at the community center on Wednesday for those who qualify. Tuesday marks one week from Election Day, and President Trump is spending the day here in Battleground, Michigan. The president is scheduled to speak at the Capital Region Airport at the AV Flight Building in Lansing at 2 p.m. And Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden also returning to our state. He will be campaigning here Saturday on Halloween. His wife, Dr. Jill Biden, is also visiting Michigan. She'll be here on Thursday. We're still waiting to find out exactly where she will be in the state. All right, let's get a check on your weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth with your 7 First Alert forecast. Dave. Yeah, it'll be warm in the hands the next several mornings. Look at these lows in the 30s, lots of them until we get to the weekend here. Tuesday, 47, lots of clouds, maybe a light shower. Emphasis on the light part in the afternoon. We've got sun back Wednesday, Friday, and Halloween, but it'll be getting cool for the kids as they trick or treat.